Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So before I update you guys with the Wonder Build, I wanted to show you guys the new character I'm messing around with uh, in the Harbinger Hardcore League. I apologize if I'm making like too many short videos that like are not really fully completing the characters. I just haven't really found one that I've enjoyed as much since playing my RF character. So this character is going to be a bit unique. Uh, and there was actually a build of the week shown, and I'm pretty sure it's very similar to that. Uh, this was originally inspired by a player named Gay Dad on Weed. Um, rip his soul, he did actually die, and I wanted to make this character in memory of him. Uh, it is a ranged attack totem, Eye of Innocence, Reflect um, Tornado Shot Chieftain. And basically the way it works is Eye of Innocence states that... You take 100 fire damage when you ignite an enemy. So instead of you igniting, you summon totems. Your totems shoot, they roll and ignite, the totems take damage. When they take damage, they proc the Chieftain Ascendancy to Kahama's War Herald. Even though they're still immune, it counts as a hit, which then makes your totems go boom. They also taunt everything. So. With that being said, they scale off of 15% of, the reflect damage scales off of 15% of your totem's max life. So you want to make sure you're using something like, for example, a Spire of Stone, and you want to get as many projectiles as possible. So like, Rain of Splinters is extremely good, and like a plus one arrow skirmish. You also want to make sure you utilize knockback so you can actually have a bit of clear speed. So you want to use things like Empire's Grasp, and like a knockback gem. So to go over my links really fast, I'm gonna give you guys a short little description and we're also gonna just jump right on into the build. One more thing to state really fast is that you wanna make sure you have cold damage somewhere on your gear and you wanna use a three dragons. The reason why you wanna do this is because the cold damage will allow you to ignite with three dragons without actually dealing fire damage, which means that you get elemental equilibrium while dealing cold damage, even though you're igniting, and it's a little complicated, I know, I'm sorry, but this is kind of how it works. So, first off, I want to show you guys the single target, and know that this build does have room to scale. It's level 70, I don't have jewels on my tree, I have to allocate quite a few nodes still. There's a lot of work to be done, but I want to show you guys the concept of the character. So, for single target, here's what we're going to do. So for AoE currently, I've got GMP, Chain, Tornado Shot, Knock Back, Range Attack, Totem Chance to Ignite. We're going to replace Tornado Shot with Barrage. So this is a level 70 character currently. I know this content's going to be a bit lower. This is going to be a 63 zone. I want to show you guys this boss. I'm sure you guys are aware of, of Mr. Mr. Sandboy. So here's Mr. Sandboy. I want to go ahead and show you him. So we're going to put our three totems down. You want to make sure you put them close to each other. And then you're going to say, one, two, three, fuck you. Okay? So now he's getting pulled in by the totems, as you can see. All right? There are his ads that are spawning right there. Okay? And that's the boss. So I'm going to make him go this way. So now the boss is stuck over there. He's going to go that way. Okay? He's getting mad. He went invisible again. I'm going to put these three down. He's got his ads up. The totems are going sucky sucky. They're doing, they're doing their job. You can see they're pulling off screen. No problem. The boss hit me. That's okay. The totems pulled him back. I'm going to put these totems back over here. Oh, the boss hit me. Oh, just kidding. Okay, so that's kind of how the single target works. Uh, obviously, if you want to keep scaling the single target, you're going to need like attack speed, uh, totem life. There's a lot of chance to ignite. There's a lot of factors to be talked about, and that'll be for a separate video. Or you can go look at the forum guides that a bunch of people have made. Um, I'm pretty sure my build is quite similar. I didn't really like copy anything verbatim It's just the builds aren't really like there's only so much you can do with them in terms of customization <laughs> These builds are pretty much all the same um, But you can go ahead and look at them on the forum guides just type up type up like I have innocence builds and I'll see if I can put one in the description for you guys now I want to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with tornado shot instead of barrage because it's completely different so for this, I'm just going to go ahead and pop into the desert and show you guys what it looks like with said tornado shot. And this can actually hit, if you see here where it's pulling from, it'll pull off screen with chain, which is pretty nice.
Now, if you don't like the sound that the totems make for this build, uh, you might not want to play it. It does make a bit of an obnoxious sound. It is kind of an obnoxious build overall, but I mean, fuck it, dude. You got to do what you want. It's important, right? It's important to have fun. So the other cool thing is I do plan on grabbing fending for some basically knockback distance, which would basically, I'm going to assume, mean like you pull them quicker because they keep getting knocked back. Um, and like I said, there's a lot more to do with the build, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of the character. In terms of the effect of life, if you guys are curious, I know I only have 3.5k right now. I've got three life nodes here. I've got three life nodes here. I've got a life node over here. We've got four life nodes over here. And then of course I could replace this for a belly and or a combs heart. So you're looking for at least 7k effective life. Um, you could also drop auras and run mind over matter i'm running herald of ice right now and the reason why this is going to sound really stupid but i just need to tell you guys so currently um i have one to two cold damage on my ring but if you look at my tornado shot i actually don't have any cold damage and you'd think to yourself why why do i have no cold damage well the reason why i have no cold damage is because i am using so many negative modifiers that my damage per second is 44.1. Now, when your damage is so low, it has to round down, and the damage is so bad, it actually doesn't work. So if I remove Rain of Splinters, as example, I will actually go to zero to one cold damage. Now, this is also not good because there's a 50% chance that you won't even apply EE because you hit for zero. Not that that really matters because you have a million projectiles going out anyway, but you just want to make sure that you actually have cold damage on your tornado shot um, because one to two sometimes just will not suffice. <laughs> um, so I'm just running Herald of Ice and this will obviously be swapped out later. One other interesting note is you don't need to level up your GMP, you don't need to level up your chain, and you don't need to level up your tornado shot or your barrage. None of these really matter. Uh, knockback's good for knockback chance. Ranged attack totem is good because this is going to be like your totem life. Chance to ignite is important because you can only go boom when you roll an ignite or when your totem gets hit. Anyway, that's pretty much uh, all I want to say uh, with the build. I did not come up with this build in any type of way, like I said before. I simply saw someone using it in a party and thought, wow, that's a pretty fucking interesting like build. I want to see what it is. Seems pretty, I don't know, seems pretty fun, so I want to check it out. Um, so I am building off of what I saw from someone else. And like I said, I don't know if there's really any adjustments I can make. I don't really follow guides one-to-one. -one. Like I said, I did take an idea off of someone else, though. So anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, please, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Rip uh, Gay Dad for Weed. Gay Dad on Weed, I think that's what his name was. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Have a wonderful time, everybody.